Hello everyone, welcome back to the Team Bulletproof channel. Today we are interviewing our newest Team Bulletproof member, Sensel. I hope you guys learn a lot about him from this interview. Enjoy! Alright, so uh, question number one, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Sensu. Um, I, I, <laughs> well, he has to say it, so let me just start from the beginning. So my name is Sensu. Um, my real name is actually Mada. I actually have two names, um, a native name and my English name. The na um, Mada, I just spelled it M-A-D-A. That's, that's just my native name. And my English name is actually Silas. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I, I do live in Nigeria. And I've been a fan of content creating. Just I've just been a big fan of comedy in general. The way, the way video games can be comedic and be transferred into like entertainment for for the purpose of making memes in the first place. So that's how I just came around of making videos because I did like enjoying the. Video. I did like watching those kind of comedic videos. So I, so I plan on making them myself. Yeah, I, I love your videos, man. They're they're always fun to watch. The the meme edits, it's, they're so good. They're so good, man. Your your edits heavily inspire mine as well. Like, it's kind of what I aspire to do. <laughs> you're 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 amazing. Yeah, thanks. All right. So second question, a little bit more on the the topic of YouTube videos. When did you start making YouTube? Why when did you start making videos on YouTube and why? Uh, I started making when I was in school. I believe it was like 2017 or 2016 where I actually like started. First of all, I was actually on my phone, and the first thing I did, the video is still up on the channel, by the way. It's still on the channel. I regret. I feel like I don't feel like I need to delete it because it is like the starting point of what I actually started. First off, I was like a big fan of Minecraft from the start. Um, me and my friends in school. Um, one friend in particular, I still talk to. Him, I still talk to that friend to this day. Um, big fans of Minecraft, by the way. Uh, we used to watch, watch like different Minecraft YouTubers and other stuff. So I did have a, I did have actually have a PC. Oh, uh, I did have a PC. I did have like a system, but like it wasn't wasn't like something like we could record on. But I did have a chance to get a phone at one point. I think that was 2017, and I did learn to edit from there. Um, the programs I did learn. Um, those, those are just like miniature programs. They weren't actually all that powerful, but they were something that I actually used. Mm -hmm. So I normally get a record app. Um, download, download it from the Google Play Store, get Minecraft. I do know, <laughs> I do know that the Minecraft I had wasn't even a paid Minecraft version. It was, it was <laughs> a way that I got <laughs> from a YouTube video how to get Minecraft on the phone. Either way, um, I did make it my first video, which was like a tutorial video, and I started making some Minecraft videos bit by bit. Um, that didn't really last long though, but I do enjoy, I do, I do still enjoy playing Minecraft and the, and the games Mojang makes these days. But I didn't Same, really I post Minecraft a lot. Yeah. So besides, so I started branching out. Some videos I deleted, some videos I did not. I started playing games on mobile, started posting them, um, just bit by bit. And I don't know, some videos I just deleted along the way. I still remember them. Um, some are foggy. Some are just private, just for reasons where I don't want people to see how stupid I was back then. <laughs> hey, I, I have some videos back on Rogue Report. I, I have some older videos. Oh my goodness. But I, I'm like, I'm not going to delete them because this is, it, you know, it, it's interesting to see where you came from and how far you've come mm -hmm. from then with yeah, videos. But th yeah, but those videos were basically me. I don't know what I was doing back then. It was basically like, they were, even, they were terrible. Like to yeah. me, I didn't do well in them, so I didn't feel like they need to be off there. But they're still on my channel just for me to look at them and see who I've improved on. But I'm not gonna delete them though. So I started playing, so I did actually I, I did actually get a console with the PS4. Um time I got my PS4, I wasn't I wasn't actually making videos though, I was just playing. Then I think what was my first game on my console? Um yeah, wait, I think Real Company was the first game I started recording on console, to be honest. I think back, I, don't, I actually wasn't actually serious on posting videos. I think it was like, tw I think it was like 2020 or, yeah, it was 2020 when Real Company came out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was 2020. Yeah. I believe it was and October of 2020 when it came free to play. Did you play it when it was free or did you play it, um, did you like buy the, um, early access? I bought the access because wow. how I came across the game was that my brother, ha my brother has a Switch, right? My brother, my early brother has a Switch. So, mm -hmm. I was looking like, I, I wasn't, I wasn't down to, to pay for games on 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 the Switch because games on Switch are expensive as hell. So I was just looking on free games on Switch. So Rock Company came up on a YouTube video 
where free games are upcoming on the Switch. So I said, this looks like an interesting game. So it did say it was going to come out. I said, I did actually try to get like an alpha, alpha key. But for some odd reason, I didn't get the alpha key in time. And when alpha ended, I, I saw the email. So it was really too late for me to join the alpha in the first place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up buying the game. I said, this could be something useful for my content. And actually make videos again. Because I did because I did actually get like... If, I was still editing on my phone back then. I didn't actually have a laptop, but I did have a PC mm-hmm. to buy the game and play it all. But I didn't have, the, but that same PC wasn't the same one I use now to edit and record. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so what I was just doing was that I will just wait until they release the game global for free. But I will be playing and making videos, like item shop videos, because this is this is guy you know, that makes fun content. This guy item shop videos for Fortnite. So I so I got inspiration from there. And I started making videos. I started recording off of my screen with my own phone. I wasn't even screen recording with my laptop. I was using the Playroom Company, the beta, with the closed beta. But that was it. Until Real Company came out, actually, for came out on all platforms. That's when I started recording on console the first time mm-hmm. on my channel. Then it started progressing from there, and I started making videos from there. And that's that's generally it. Yeah, well, it's definitely, it definitely is a process, like, you go from, like, you start at one place, and then you kind of just, you go further and further and further, more and more, and it, you know, like, I, I use, like, three different editing softwares before I landed up where I was, I started on Switch, and now I'm playing on PC, like, just the way, the way your videos change from, like, different platforms and different programs over time, it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of crazy. I started out oh. making videos on Switch. <laughs> I'm making videos on Switch with like this. I believe it was called Open Shot. It was, it was such a basic <laughs> editor. <laughs> I did the editing program on Switch. But now I do remember. I used to like make me videos back then. Yeah, now I remember. Like, I used to make like me. I wasn't playing games, but like when a game trailer comes out, I know I like make a meme edit out on my phone mm-hmm. and post it up. And that would happen like once or twice a month. And it's very, very hard post. That would, my schedule was just like. Two months, like two months or one month gap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, number three, you have amazing video edits. How long have you been doing video editing? And how did you? Well, we kind of know how long you've been doing video editing. 2017. Mm-hmm. 20, 20, 2016 or 2017 was it? Yeah, that was like those, those were like miniature edits. Those were bad until the point where I am now. Because <laughs> where I am now, I'm actually at a computer. I know what to do. I know what I'm doing yeah. wrong. Because even when I look back at my old videos, I see the stuff. My tracking was bad. My green screens were not that uh, good. But the cons of me putting the green screen, like, like the chroma key, wasn't like yeah. Good. Yeah. But but how how did you learn to edit edit so well? Was it just like for experience, or did you watch video tutorials, or was it a mix of both? If I want to learn something in particular, like some certain effects, I go for these tutorials. But for the editing part, that was just through experience and me just trying to figure out what to do. Plus watching other mm-hmm watching other people that inspire me at the same the same way i edit right so other people the same i try to like mimic or try to learn from the way their videos are portrayed mm-hmm. so i try to learn from them just from watching yeah that, that is that is really helpful just seeing the way they do things and seeing the way you know people who are better at video editing do video edits like for example, for me, it's it's kind of you. Like I, I try and with the Overwatch video, I kind of try and follow like a meme format, and you know that kind of worked. Like it has has a, like a, it feels a little bit like a sense of edit, you know. And that's <laughs> you know just watching other videos and trying to adopt those editing styles definitely helps. I'd say. Mm. All right, number four. I know you've done video editing for Brad. But have you done videoing for anyone else? I saw you were looking for an editing job, and I was wondering if you found anybody yet. Yes, um, let me think. There's one person I can remember very clearly because I think he's still like him. It's like his life and his job, everything like mixed up. But I still I work for him from time to time. I yeah, I've, I've it's been like I think it's been like a month or two since I have actually worked for him. But I have worked for him. He has paid me. Um, who else? Um, there are some people that there is one person. I don't, I don't know if I can actually tell you the name because he is planning to like come. I don't, I don't say much about it, but he's like planning to come back and make some videos, as he said. Mm-hmm. And he actually wants me to help him edit those videos. Nice. So, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see you have a future for video editing. 
I think mm -hmm. you're really good at what you do. Um, what what viewing software do you do you use again? Is it Premiere Pro? Yeah, Premiere Pro. Yeah, I well, I use I use DaVinci Resolve. Have you ever, have you ever used that? I used it one time. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's a fusion that's kind of confusing for me. Mm -hmm. But I like I'll, it has a lot of good features, so it's kind of what I'm, mm -hmm. I'm using. I so, said I said turns on it. Yeah. It's not that bad, but I just don't use it. Yeah, I mean, it, it with editing software, it really comes down to personal preference because, you know, one software that has features that you may use more may be preferred over one that doesn't have those same features but has other, like, different editing softwares have different features and different uses. It's kind of like your personal editing style and then do you understand the editing software? Like, s some people may understand how to use the Fusion thing. I don't know how, I don't know how to use the Fusion thing to save my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, it, it, it's interesting. I've, I've done three editing softwares and DaVinci Resolve has just kind of been something that I'm just going to stick to from now on. I play Filmora. Filmora. Yeah. Brad uses Filmora. Um, that was, that was something I looked at, uh, a little bit ago, but it's like, mm, I don't want to pay just in case I'm really bad at video editing, but. That's something I could possibly look into for the future, but DaVinci Resolve kind of serves my basic needs for now. Uh, All right. So number five, what do you hope to see for the future of Team Bulletproof? What would you like to see happen in Team Bulletproof to improve? Um, you know, this is, we really are trying to improve Team Bulletproof and we want to make sure that it's a good community and it's a community from the community. I want to see all of you, a team, like any game, any community, any like Modern Warfare, um, uh, all other games, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Apex, Valorant. I want to, generally, I want to see Team BP on on, on an event, on a game event. I'm proud that they're coaching them on the side as well. That's my main idea. Of what okay. I want to see what's happening because uh, that because seeing that will make me like so happy seeing Brad go to that point of him being in a big event, a tournament event, and yeah, you guys are there, be like, okay, just be something else. I mean, kind of similar, like what we did with like the the we had we 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 had a team bulletproof team for um for the road company LAN. At, mm. so, so something like that like we get involved in like bigger events and have members like compete in tournaments stuff like that is like is that what you're trying to say yes all right yeah because that's that's definitely something that we want to do that's kind of something that's going to come later like we have we have some plans we've been getting in mod vc every week we've just been brainstorming ideas and that's definitely something that we want to do like we want to branch out we want to have you know we want to have a sense of bulletproof pride you know root for your team root for bulletproof you know that's what yeah, you're kind of working on. And that's definitely a similar vision that Bulletproof has. All right, so what do you love about Team Bulletproof? What are we doing well? What, what's your favorite part about Bulletproof? Your consistency. Yeah, we're trying to keep up the consistency because, you yeah, know, as the, you know. The last, the last team I was in, like, the reason why I didn't want to be in teams at first because, like, you know first impressions, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, my first team I joined, <laughs> so, so I don't know what happened, but there was beef going on with the real company team and the owner. So the mm -hmm. owner kicked everyone out of the real company. Everyone in the real company team was out. <laughs> and from there, everything started going downhill. People were leaving. You know, that, I don't know what's going on. So I just, I left as well because I didn't want to get into the whole argument of what's going on. Yeah, well, I mean, we had we had something similar as a lot of people in Team Bulletproof now. Like, we had a little bit of a, it got a little bit heated, but you know, some people, some people, kind of stepped away for a little bit, and we got some new people. But I, we're, we're all good now. We're, we still have like the same goals. We're just kind of operating a bit differently, but the fact that we're able to just stay together and like, by the way, every, you know, the people that stepped down, we're all cool now. Like. We're back, you know, they are, they're doing their own things, but we're still a team. We're still, you know, we're still friends. Um, I just VC with them recently, you know, it's, and I think Team Bulletproof will stay strong. Like, so Rogue Company, honestly, it's, it's kind of a mess right now. 
but Dude. I am so grateful for all the people <laughs> I've met. You know, Team Bulletproof, Brad, Radthar, you, Kelly Kai, like all these people, Griffin, all these people that I met in the in the Rogue Company community, that's something no other game will be able to replicate, and that's just kind of a beautiful thing about Rogue Company for me. Yeah, that's the thing. I, yeah, listen, right? I make Rogue Company, I made Rogue Company content. I appreciate the effort mm -hmm. they put into the game, but at some point, they messed up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but I do appreciate the community that I came across, yeah. But yeah, the, the game, mean, the management was the issue. Yeah, it's just the management. It's just they kind of they didn't know what they wanted to do with Rogue Company. They didn't know if they wanted they wanted to be Valorant. They didn't know if they wanted to be Call of Duty. They didn't know if they wanted to be Halo. They're just kind of trying to fit all genres, and that just kind of doesn't work. Like the way Rogue Company was day one, in my opinion, was perfect. You should have kept it like that. You know. The way it was, just build off of that. You didn't need weapon mastery. You didn't need to make make tiered perks or anything like that. Like it was perfect the way it was, and I kind of just I miss those days, man. When I load up Rogue Company and hear that "Run the Jewels" soundtrack, and I just you know what? There wasn't even a battle pass to grind for, and I just love the game. From from my first game, I still remember it. It was Saint on Vice. And I was like, this is my main game. And it's just the past year I was playing it, but I was kind of forcing myself to play it. Like past, I think it was like after season four, like season five, season six, season seven. And I believe we're on season eight now. I just was kind of feeling like I was forcing myself to play it and wasn't really enjoying the game anymore. It's just like, it's, it's sad. It's so much potential. It had it. It was something no other game had done before, and I really loved that. Yeah. All right. So number seven. What is your favorite game of all time, and what games have you been enjoying lately? Hmm. Uh, I know that's uh, kind of a big question. question. <laughs> favorite game of all time. Favorite game of all time. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft, man. I love Minecraft. The good old well, Minecraft all, days. No, all, all, Mojang, all Mojang games in general. Mojang mm -hmm. games. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, what, what was the other question again? Uh, and what <laughs> games have you been enjoying lately? I see you've been doing some Overwatch 2 videos, which yeah, are pretty uh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I just finished like, recording like a few, like a few, like a few minutes ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been Overwatch lately. A lot, so really. Um, I've been going halfway into the Battle Pass, actually. It's only been like 10 days. Oh, I nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I've played even played Fortnite. Like Fortnite was a game where I know I played when, when Rogue when Rogue was an issue for me to play. I barely played Fortnite nowadays. I just played like like two hours today. That was it. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've but Overwatch is the main game. Too. But Overwatch is the main game now. Yeah, I I I I came from Overwatch One. I started playing Overwatch One in I believe 2019, um, and that was during a content drought. And I loved Overwatch One. It, it it felt so I I just it felt like Overwatch or what by the way if you're loving Overwatch 2 that like I'm not trying to knock down Overwatch 2 for anyone <laughs> but Overwatch 1 man had that magic and honestly after playing Overwatch 2 it just doesn't feel the same and that might yeah. be just me coming from Overwatch 1 yeah. and just yeah so the Overwatch, Overwatch 1 fans will be saying like mm -hmm. like I'm hearing a lot of stuff like Oh, it's just Overwatch 1.5 plus DLC. <laughs> I mean, Overwatch 2 is free to play, so you really cannot complain. Like, it's... There's some good changes in there, too. Like, it's... Personally, I think Overwatch 2 is great. It just doesn't have the same magic to me as Overwatch 1 had. And that's just because I'm an Overwatch 1 player. It's not... Overwatch 2 is not objectively bad at all. I just... I Overwatch 1, man. That's... Overwatch 1 kind of had my heart. But it, I think Overwatch 2 is a ton of fun, and uh, I might get back into it, but honestly, Shadowline for me right now. I've been playing a lot of Shadowline, I've been playing Apex with my friend, and that's just kind of just kind what I've been playing lately. <laughs> Alright, well I think that's all the questions I had. Is there anything you want to add? By the way, I will have your socials in the description, so anyone who wants to uh, wants to watch Sensel's videos, which are really good by the way, best meme edits you will ever see. <laughs> It's in the description. Go check out his channel, please. <laughs> like, honestly, your videos are amazing, Sensel. I love them. I always watch like, them all the time. 
and I might always like I'm not doing good enough in this video. You know? They're they're really good. I, I love them. But yeah, welcome to Team Bulletproof, Sensel. Welcome to yeah. Team Bulletproof. We're glad to have you. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. Yeah. So is there is there anything you want to add? Anything? Anything to say? Close. If you, to, if you don't play Clash of Clans, you're a bigot. <laughs> <laughs>